Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. I'd like to kind of pick up where we left off yesterday. For those of you who didn't see yesterday's video, we were talking about this group of ships found in the ice in Antarctica. Now, the region that you're looking at is frozen water, but at one time, it was flowing. And you can see, when you look closely, that that was the case. Because in this particular area where we found these ships, you see evidence of what we would describe as leeward action. Now, for those of you that don't know what that means, when water, flowing water, encounters some type of obstruction, Directly behind that obstruction, there is an area of calmer water. And just beyond that a little bit, the, air, the water kind of swirls as it continues to pick up and flow again. And this is a great place to fish, just on another uh, topic real quick. For those of you who are ever in a survival situation and you find yourself in a river, if there's going to be fish, this is where they're going to be. Because they don't have to expend a lot of energy setting air in the lee, but they can still take advantage of stuff being washed down through the current, and they can just go grab it and come back real quick. Now, I really want to hone in very closely on this, because I think it's important to understand, these aren't rocks. This isn't pareidolia. This clearly, clearly is a bow of a ship. The stern is two 90-degree angles. And we see some type of a tower raised above the level of the ship, just like on every other ship in the world, for navigation purposes. Now, you might make the allegation, this is a little blurry, maybe this one in the middle is a little blurry, but this one and this one, for sure, you can definitely see the on-purpose built angles and shapes. Now, these are smaller than modern um aircraft carriers, and I guess I would label this some type of a frigate or destroyer, but it could be from an ancient navy that just at the time didn't have the ability to 
build aircraft carriers the size we make. Now, looking at that, and let's just establish that those two for sure are ships. Over here, and these aren't tough to see, it looks like very, very much, and my Navy guys will attest to this, the conning tower of a submarine. Now, clearly there's ice that's been built up on this, um, moving past it. But this is 200 feet long, and that's right in the neighborhood. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this up so you guys can see it. And measure this out. one hundred and ninety five point three nine feet long that's ballpark for a submarine now that'll give you the idea an idea pardon me of how big these ships are they're much smaller they're a couple hundred feet long not even but over here I found and you have to look very close to see this there's the wreck of a ship. Here's the bow. Here's the stern. You're looking at the port side up, starboard side down, and you can see that there's some major damage right here. But you can see where the mast, where the tower would have been. You can very clearly see the keel. This thing is on its side. Now what brought me to this region to begin with was an entirely different subject. A long time ago, one of the very first finds that I made was this thing that I've just referred to as a serpent's tentacle. Now even if for some reason you don't buy that those are ships, I really don't know how you could look at this and say that this is some kind of natural formation in the ice. Now, there is a feature that you can use in the, uh, the ruler section up under tools of Google Earth Pro. You can select path and it allows you to measure something that's kind of an odd shape like this and I want to do this to show you another site where I think we have found this creature swimming. I'm going to go ahead and kind of measure this out. To kind of get a good overall length of what this is. Now I think this thing is kind of doubled over on itself. All right, so we come to, let's see if we can turn the light down a little bit here. 157.85 feet, roughly. So it's, it's big. Now, over the years, people have described creatures like this, uh, Lake Champlain, Nessie, that type of thing. There's another one that I can never remember the name of when I need to, but there's a third location um, where these deep water lakes harbor these creatures. But one of the... Uh, sorry about that. One of the ways they describe them is the heads are like horses, and they swim with their head out of the water but different parts submerged and humps visible which would preclude the story of that they're just eels or giant eels which is how science has described them now I'm trying to get everything in the same shot here so I can show you guys this on the camera this thing in the water right here 
shows up exactly the same color as that thing on the rock we just measured. And we see what looks like a head, and then part of the body submerged, and then above, below, above, below, above. Just kind of those loops, and then a giant tail. But when you measure this, let me get the uh, line ruler out because this will be easier. This one roughly comes out to about 187 feet. So this one's about 20 feet longer than that thing we described as a serpent's tentacle that might actually just be a serpent. Now, for those of you that believe that I'm seeing things, what would you base that on? The vast majority, the vast majority of this continent, nobody has actually set eyes on in person, given that the vast majority of the content, content, pardon me, continent is under miles and miles of ice. There could be all sorts of things down there that we don't know about, we've never seen, but the anecdotal stories over the centuries do line up. I had made the allegation yesterday, and I'm going to stick with it. If you had, at any time prior to 1900, made the allegation that you could mine a bunch of metal and then create this thing we refer to as an engine block and then somehow mill and machine pistons and rods and lifters and camshafts and then mill all of the tiny little parts that you need to make a transmission and a gearbox and a differential and a hub and all of the different things that we take for granted in a car and then make the allegation you're going to grow a bunch of corn and then you're going to squeeze all the oil out of that corn and then you're going to dump it into all of these machine milled parts somehow and then you're going to make this electric spark and somehow in some weird uh, timing way it's going to turn a shaft that's going to have wheels and it's going to propel you down the road. If you had said that at any time prior to 1900, you would have been probably committed. But it's our reality. And who knows what our reality is, is going to, going to be in another 100 years. And if you had said in 19, even 1950, that there was going to be this worldwide, virtually wireless, these days, network, where people could do what we're doing right now, make videos, share information in real time. And through virtue of satellite, be able to look down on areas thousands and thousands and thousands of miles away and see stuff even in the, the detail that we see them. Even in 1950, you would have been laughed at. So keep an open mind, I guess, is the point that I'm trying to make there. Every time in history, man has thought that he has everything figured out and he knows everything, all of a sudden something or somebody comes along, shakes everything up and uh, changes that. There was one place I will leave you with and it was one of the very first discoveries I made. It's actually very close to this. We won't have to do any measuring for this, but it looks like right here that there is some type of a vehicle shining some kind of a light on the ice right here. I just labeled it headlight. Now that by itself, you'd have to ask, well, where is it going? Well, sure enough, we have this very unnatural melt in the region. And where could this guy be going? Well, here you go. An opening in the ice. Now, what are the odds of just those two things being in proximity to each other and not related? 
I guess I'll just leave that there. Like, share, subscribe. Have a great weekend. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. left by the ancients, the kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir?